Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So obviously we have box office numbers that happened and uh, let's look at some of this. And a lot of people were talking about the box office drop from weekend to weekend. It is kind of funny though, because obviously there's always that side uh, that wants everything to fail because it's too woke. You know, the anti-woke goes really hard. And I remember a lot of people were thinking that Cocaine Bear was actually going to defeat Ant-Man and Quantumania at the domestic box office. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe Cocaine Bear is going to... It's like, no, it didn't. It didn't. But, you know, it did come close. 69.9, almost 70% drop. And you know what's hilarious? I saw some people that were posting, wow, it's going to have a bigger drop than Batman versus Superman. Wow, you guys are still comparing comic book movies to Batman versus Superman? I think there's been worse drops since then, okay? You know, I get it. You have a hate boner for good old Donna Justice. I get it. But still crazy it made 31.9 essentially 32 cocaine bear did a you know decent job for a smaller movie at 23.2 cocaine bear let's see it actually made you know it's 28.5 i wonder what the budget was i don't know but when it comes to ant-man and the wasp we got uh it's currently sitting right now according to box office mojo 363.2 and uh, apparently, according to Variety, the budget, which, of course, you know, take it or leave it. Anytime that these studios release the, the, the budget for these movies, it's a little fluffed. A lot of fluff on all studios. But they said it was $200 million budget. So it's almost twice the budget. So it's not a flop. I don't think it's not. It's going to underperform. Definitely underperforming. Kind of not what you want to have for a movie that's going to introduce a new baddie for the next two phases. Well, you know, bad word of mouth. A lot of people were kind of like, eh, February, eh. It sucks because I love Paul Rudd. But I think Ant-Man, Ant-Man's a good side character. Not a good starring character. I think the first Ant-Man was perfect in how, not perfect, but you know, good in like the fact that it was a small movie, it was a heist movie, and it just worked and it had these cool side characters. Now they're trying to get Ant-Man to be like, hey, we got this whole grander thing, which like, yes, you have the quantum realm, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, I don't know how you can really have a, a draw for that. So there's your box office numbers right there for this past weekend in Ant-Man. I don't know, what was like Thor, Thor Love and Thunder, I thought was, it had a pretty high drop too, so. Is Marvel worried? Is Kevin Feige worried? No, they're not worried. Why would they be worried?